Starting with the SAT questions in your NTSC examination. So first we will understand how much proportion of questions are asked. So physics, chemistry, you would have 13 questions, 7, 7 from botany, zoology, and then you would have 20 questions from mathematics and then the remaining questions from your social studies. So in this class, we would be focusing on science and maths. We will be covering social studies in a separate lecture. Now here, uh, let's understand the kind of questions that are asked in physics, chemistry, biology uh, and mathematics. But before that, what is very, very important, do NCRT 6 to 10th very, very carefully, go through the formulas, the basic concepts thoroughly and then solve the exemplar problem at least for class 9th and 10th for your science and maths in order to score well with your SAT examination in NTSC. And that's the basic uh, key that you must not forget. Now here there are certain number of questions that are given. Most of the kind of questions are similar. Two things that you have to remember very very particularly in physics is firstly the signs and the units, the dimensions that are being used and secondly is the conversion of the constants or certain values into the uh, standard value or their SI systems. Okay, so for example the gravitational constant, what is the unit here you have to calculate and you have to know that even if you do not calculate let's remember f is equal to gmm by r square now with this you can find out the value of g so it would be the force that is newton into r square divided by m into m so take the units for those and see what comes out to be the right option the next question here is the speed is given the wavelength is given you have to find out the frequency so simply velocity of a wave is equal to wavelength into frequency but the wavelength here is in centimeters you would have to convert it into meters in order to solve it because the speed is in meter per second and therefore you would solve it and with this simple formula you can simply solve these kind of questions again Another question on waves, so you have uh, compression and rare fraction which is mainly seen in longitudinal waves. Now this is something that we have studied in our fundamentals in class 9. So go through that again. Focal length optics, again you have lots of questions. So focal length is given, you have to find out the diopter. So diopter power would be inverse of focal length in meters. So first of all convert the centimeters into meters and then reciprocate it and find out the value. I'm not doing the exact calculations. The idea is to give you an insight about what kind of questions are asked. Similarly, we have the questions on reflection that are being asked and the questions on Snell's law. So optics become an important section. The next is the question on voltage. Now we have to find out the current. So V is equal to IR. We already know that. Now in this case, what is the resistance? It is one, then three, three resistances in parallel. So it is one by three plus one by three plus one by three inverse of that. So that becomes one and then one, one and one in series. So I'll add those. So this becomes three ohm. Now I have resistance as three, voltage as six. So I have the uh, current that would be 2 ampere so again a very very simple and a direct question similarly we have the constant and the work done for spring constants that are asked uh, based on height we have various problems in chemistry very very simple problems what is the formula for this what is the formula for so and so then we have which is an example of element so you just need to know the periodic table in detail and if you know the elements in the periodic table you will be able to answer the rest of all are compared so it is NH3, it's H2O and NaCl and this is iron Fe. So that's the simplest way to understand which is the element here. The next kind of questions is finding out the covalent bonds, the uh, ionic solutions, the oxidation reduction equations, the valencies. So those are kind of common questions that are asked. Then elements with highest electronegativity is fluorine. Again, questions based on periodic table, as we said, are important. The molecular formula for ferron is CCl2F2, which is also written as CF2Cl2. So either of those becomes correct. 
then the monomer units of various uh, compounds are important similarly in botany we have questions like where we have the sunken stomata so sunken stomata are seen and uh, xerophytic plants where the cuticle is actually thick similarly we have questions which talk about the progenies and uh, the phenotypic and the genotypic ratios in the f1 f2 generation so again uh, this is something that we have covered in our classes on genetics in class 9th in detail so just go back and refer the mendel's law in our ncrt class 9th and 10th that we have discussed this is a question specific to rajasthan since this is a paper of rajasthan ntsc similar kind of questions can come up for your state based uh, sections now in rajasthan chipko movement was started by bishnois in the khejriwali village and this khejriwali village lies close to jodhpur so jodhpur becomes the right option in zoology again we had seven questions that were asked questions like diseases caused by protein deficiency is cashew occur scurvy is because of deficiency of c rickets by vitamin d deficiency then parts of intestine are sesam colon and rectum duodenum jejunum and ileum are part of small intestine so that is something that you need to know the physiology and the basic concepts very very fundamental deficiency of vitamin k leads to hemorrhage because vitamin k helps in clotting and if the blood does not clot there would be hemorrhage that would be seen so that is again a very basic kind of question in mathematics there were around 20 questions this is a very very simple question you have a straight line so straight line is 180 degrees minus 30 degrees that is 150 degree and this 150 degree is equal to 2x plus 4x so 6x is equal to 150 degree i can simply find out the value of x which is 150 by 6 and this is a kind of most simple problem that could be there some of the interior angles again heptagon means seven sides so simple formula n minus 2 into 180 n is 7 so 7 minus 2 that is 5 into 180 so 5 into 180 half of 180 is 90 so 90 900 becomes the right option here again there are questions where you have the perimeter of an equilateral triangle now all the three sides are equal so 24 is the perimeter that means 8 8 and 8 now the formula for the area is root 3 by 4 a square that is side square so root 3 by 4 into 8 into 8 and it's 2 so it is 16 root 3 as the right option the next kind of questions are based on trigonometry again very very simple uh, questions on trigonometry if you know the formula you can simply solve this this is a question which we have seen very very similar in the mat exam as well so in the mat we have seen uh, we already know lcm into hcf is the product of two numbers now in the first case product of these two numbers is this uh the lcm of these two numbers is this and the hcf of these two number is 2 so i write it as 2 3 4 6 0 into 2 divided by 510 that would be equal to a which is another number so a into 510 would be equal to this much i solve this and i get the value for a again a very very simple and a direct question this is a question from coordinate geometry what i have to do is i have to simply draw the xy axis okay on the xy axis i start with 1 and i mark 4 so this is the point i would mark so this is 1 and this is 4 then i have minus 5 which is here so it is minus 5 and 4 so my point is parallel to this so this would be a straight line then again minus 5 and minus 3 so this would be here again a point here okay so minus 5 would be in the same line okay so again a straight line and then 1 and minus 3 so again a straight line so this would be a straight line that i would join and this would be a rectangle not a square why because it is 1 plus 4 uh, sorry 1 plus 5 which is 6 on this side and 4 plus 3 which is 7 on this side so it is a rectangle of 6 by 7 side so the answer would be rectangle so these kind of questions which are based on the very fundamentals of uh, the problems related to coordinate geometry are asked again this is an interesting question what is asked in this question is you have a b c d as in square i have to find out the area of the shaded portion so very very simple what i do is i find out the area of the square which is 28 into 28 minus the area of the four circles so 4 into pi 
r square now what would be the radius this would be the radius this whole side is 28 i have to fragment it into four pieces so 7 becomes the radius so this is 7 this again is 7 this is 7 and this is 7 so my radius is 7 so 7 into 7 so pi r square so i cancel it out and i have this so 28 into 28 minus 4 into 22 into 7 and that would give me the area of the remaining shaded portion the next question is again very very simple this question says a dice is thrown the probability of getting even number on a dice is now dice when i'm throwing a dice i have one two three four five and six six sides so even sides are three odd sides are three so probability of getting an even number is three out of six that is one out of two so one out of two or 50 percent probability becomes the right option very very simple and very very logical questions on mathematics we would be covering social sciences in a separate section for your ntsc examination as we said these are some of the very fundamental and basic questions asked in your ntsc examination so simply go through those and get an in insight as to how to prepare and what is a systematic study and a systematic way exemplar problems ncrt 6 to 10th are must to cover